gossip now. Rapper and supermaker Shah Diddy Cole's inheritance has apparently broken since he's apparently at the focal point of a continuous government sex dealing test. On spring 27th, government specialists with their weapons drawn attacked his Miami and Los Angeles extravagant manners. Diddy was not at both of the homes at that point. All things being equal, he was purportedly going to board his personal luxury plane for a spring break excursion with his girls. Notwithstanding, his children Christian and Justin were at the Hip Jump Investor Los Angeles home when the government assaults occurred. Justin Cole's mom even let this recording out of inside Diddy's LA house showing government specialists pointing their weapons and afterward binding Justin and Christian prior to proceeding with their hunt. As of now, it's muddled what examiners saw as inside the home. Specialists supposedly held onto weapons, PCs, and other electronic gadgets through a lawyer. Diddy kept up with his blamelessness, and his legal counselor, Aaron Dyer, hammered the strike, calling it a witch chase in light of meritless allegations made in government claims. Since the government assaults, the rapper and maker have remained moderately calm via virtual entertainment. He made his most memorable revisitation of Instagram posting a photograph of his most youthful little girl with the subtitle Cheerful Easter, however switched off the remarks to the post last week he likewise posted. One more photograph of his most youthful little girl to the web-based entertainment stage likewise with the remarks switched off, yet soon after that post he presented a video on his page of his. 1997 music video Triumph, the video highlights entertainer Danny Devotional as a live-action correspondent yet outstandingly includes Diddy running from policing equipped soldiers he posted the video. Close by with the subtitle, Terrible Kid for Life, it's muddled on the off chance that the post was made as a reaction to his continuous fight in court, yet apparently undaunted by the post, the hip jump. Magne turned on the remarks to the post, Diddy additionally saved on the remarks for his latest post, in which he honored unbelievable Atlanta music maker Rico Swim the recognition is, posted close by the inscription. Find happiness in the hereafter, perhaps of the best maker God at any point made. You'll constantly be missed. However, your music will live for eternity. So assuming you heed the guidance of your legal counselors, you wouldn't answer or make any posts about the strike specifically. Natalie Whittingham Burrell is a criminal protection lawyer, while it's muddled on the off chance. That Diddy has not answered the attacks under the exhortation of a legal counselor, as she makes sense of no reaction is superior to a reaction that could be utilized later for any possible criminal. Procedures in any occasion, um, yet no immediate critique working on this issue is everything any legal advisor would agree to their client to do, thus I wouldn't anticipate that he should remark working on this issue. Um, you don't believe he should offer something going to be picked to privateer by the arraignment later on. So that is logical why, um, he's not uttering a word straightforwardly about the case that is exceptionally shrewd to avoid that you realize he realizes he's in serious trouble at the present time, and he knows there's a ton of virtual entertainment hypothesis in regards to him, and furthermore, that latest kid. Love came while he was involved with another person, so that checks out and not have the remarks on her post. Um, so you see no pessimism coordinated towards the kid. Um, now it's something worth talking about to recollect is that these web-based entertainment characters and superstars and big shots their web-based entertainment existences are adapted. Thus the greater commitment that they get on each post, the more cash that. They get individuals don't connect on posts that don't have the remarks on, in light of the fact that that is a piece of online entertainment. Individuals like to communicate and impart their plans to one another, as he must take the scope with the sharp particularly assuming he's taking a gander at these extremely high money-related charges that will be going to his criminal safeguard and his legal advisors right now, even before the case has even been. Prosecuted thus, I don't see him doing, and he's been dropped by a portion of the organizations that he worked with as a result of the pessimistic picture, so you'll presumably see him inclining more toward virtual entertainment. The remarks will probably be on the majority of the posts he will presumably not discuss the actual case since it is a type of adaptation, I feel like it's just that in the midst of the continuous fights in court and government sex dealing test, Diddy apparently has a quiet, cool, and gathered disposition since he's been seen out in the open. The tycoon was spotted riding his bicycle in Miami, loosening up on the, on the canine side, and drinking a glass of wine.
smidgen of a break in the facade in light of the fact that in one of the trips that he had where he was riding bikes, he passed by certain fans and said for them to like, you know, petition God for him or ponder him or in any event. I feel that, you know, any individual uh, confronting these charges, uh, be there, be they civvy or criminally, there is a sure measure of pressure there. So I address criminal respondents and whether they're in prison or they're not having a crook case drape loom over your head or any instance of these kind of serious claims is pressure uh, delivering Anyway, we need to recollect that Diddy is an expert of the picture. You realize this is Sparkly Suit Diddy. This is the very fellow that you know has this music vocation that he worked off a picture alone. He'd be not the most gifted rapper yet. He made this enormous picture of this large music mo tycoon and individuals became involved with it and made him um, likewise the music magnate that he envisioned himself to be. Thus, I would feel that he's truly adept at keeping up a picture, particularly on the off chance that these charges are valid, which we don't realize they haven't been demonstrated in that frame of mind of regulation at this point yet. In the event that they're valid and secret, he is taking part in this like corrupted conduct. However, at that point, everybody face. He simply seems like you realize a cool tomfoolery party fellow that appears to be somewhat honest and unintimidating, so that wouldn't shock me at all, assuming that inside there's a ton of strife from these charges. Yet he has had many years of involvement of sort of carrying on with that twofold existence. Of demonstrating that he is you realize I'm chilling on the yacht. I'm hosting a white gathering. I'm living it up. And afterward away from plain view something different is continuing. So I wouldn't expect for his public picture to disintegrate. Except if its pressure turns out to be excessively and too overpowering all the more. As of late he was spotted with his children, Justin and Christian Combs. The two children are additionally illegitimate. Major trouble of their own Justin Combs was blamed in a new claim for being essential for a cover-up including the shooting of a companion at a Keep studio in 2022 with Diddy and his more youthful sibling Christian is blamed. For physically attacking a lady back in 2022 on a yacht, his dad diagrammed by another claim, both Christian and Justin Combs through their loy trauma centers have denied the allegations, yet in the midst of everything, it's one. More disaster for the troubled hip-hop maker, who has been swimming in sexual wrongdoing common claims for the beyond couple of months it started when most quite his ex and Rand. B-vocalist Cassie Ventura recorded her government common claim against her ex in November of 2023. The suit was settled in, no less than a day of it being documented in bureaucratic court. Yet the charges made against Diddy were stunning, she claimed Diddy exposed her to long stretches of mental, physical, and sexual maltreatment in the suit, Cassie said. Diddy beat her over and over. She likewise said he dealt her by constraining her to have intercourse with male sex laborers in various urban areas while he shot and stroked off to the experiences. As per court records, Diddy and his partners would utilize his influence and abundance to threaten and quietness her. At that point, a lawyer for Diddy called the claims hostile and ludicrous, yet after the suit was settled, Diddy's legal counselor said it was settled agreeably and the choice to settle was not the slightest bit an affirmation of bad behavior. After Cassie's suit, the conduits appeared to open, with others approaching asserting sexual wrongdoing against Diddy. Many come from past supposed attacks tracing all the way back to as soon as 1990. Delight Dickerson Neal recorded a claim in New York High Court against Diddy and terrible kid diversion in comms ventures. She blamed Diddy for tranquilizing and physically attacking her in 1991. She claimed she was a casualty of retribution pornography, saying he shot the attack and showed it to other people. A representative for Diddy called the claims made up and not believable, adding that it's simply a cash snatch. Witness the falsehoods. I didn't mislead you on that holograph. I guarantee the cover-ups I could see his cerebrum on the second they admitted I got one of the kitchen blades I kai absurd police cross. Examinations. I realize I failed to remember the head. I needed the head. You might pass out from shock after seeing it in real life. Wow, regulation and wrongdoing cross-examinations buy in today. Liza Gardner likewise Diddy and Ranby vocalist Aaron Lobby on charges of battery and rape, coming from an occurrence in 1990 when she was only 16 years of age. Gardner affirmed Diddy in corridor gave her cocktails, nailed her down, and constrained her to have intercourse. A representative for Diddy likewise denied the cases saying to some degree that these are created guarantees dishonestly claiming wrongdoing from a long time back 
and documented without a second to spare. This is only a cash snatch. A mysterious lady utilizing the moniker Jean Doe documented a government AL suit against Diddy music maker Harvey Pierre and an anonymous third assailant in December. Doe blamed the three for sex dealing and assault in 2003 when she was 17 years of age and a high schooler around the same time the suit was documented. Diddy took to Instagram with this assertion which read, For the most recent few weeks I have sat quietly and watched individuals attempt to kill my personality, obliterating my standing and my heritage. Nauseating charges have been made against me by people searching for a fast payday. Allow me to be totally clear, I didn't do any of the horrendous things being claimed I will battle for my name, my family, and for reality Harpier additionally put out an announcement denying the charge, saying statement, this is a story of fiction I have never partaken in scene, nor knew about anything like this consistently, these nauseating charges are misleading and a frantic endeavor for monetary profit. I will vivaciously safeguard my standing and shield my name. The people who realize me perceive that these cases are false. Then there's the most recent suit when music maker and videographer Rodney Jones, also known as El Pole, recorded a government claim against Diddy and various different respondents. The suit blames Diddy for racketeering rape sex dealing with 2022. In 2023, when Jones chipped away at Diddy's latest collection, the suit denounces Diddy, as well as blames entertainer Cuba Gooding Jr. for rape, and makes reference to a few different superstars by name and depiction. Like the remainder of different claims, Diddy proceeds to fervently deny all charges made against him. However, almost a month after the strikes, is there actually reason to worry? As Whitting and Beryl makes sense of, hiding out and being out of the spotlight may be the best arrangement. He has sufficient cash presently to simply relax and sit idle, and as long as he doesn't see this, hear a ton of my clients get into issues. And a great deal of other lawyers get into issues since they realize something is coming. They know they're going to be in a difficult situation, and afterward they attempt to cover it up. That is where the issue emerges. However long he does what he's doing at present, remain inconspicuous. You know, go to your occasions, ride your bicycle, Hang out on the oceanfront, get on your boat, and fly your personal luxury plane. Isn't that so? Do everything, except don't attempt to run. Try not to attempt to cover anything up. Try not to attempt to take care of any individuals. He'll be fine. You know, all things considered, assuming you see him doing anything that appears as though it very well may be attempting to cover something up, that could be a sign of culpability and implicate him later on. Diddy, who has gone by a few names throughout the long term, including Puffy Puff Daddy P. Diddy, and most as of late sibling affection, has confronted a few legitimate debates throughout the long term. However, is this time unique? Whittingham Burrell says, okay, in light of the fact that the circumstances are different, so it used to be that um, the rape that was endemic to the music business and the film ventures was acknowledged as the projecting lounge chair basically that that was only the cost of confirmation that you would need to surrender your body to get course into these uh, different, you know, um, uh, the fashionable elite basically to make it. And uh, we are not tolerating that any longer as a general public. Thus, I feel that that has been a significant change here. And I think likewise, another change is that the virtual entertainment presence that didn't exist during the 90s, the 2000s and the 2010s until we had the coming of Instagram. Twitter, YouTube, different types of online entertainment. Famous people could truly conceal their rowdiness. They could have somebody sign A N D A take care of them, and there was actually no place for that individual to go on. The off chance that somebody like Diddy, they could kill a story, you know, um, or Harvey Weinstein. They could kill a story regardless of whether an individual goes straightforwardly to the media. Yet presently, somebody doesn't have to go to the media they can simply post on Instagram or Twitter a claim and afterward have their lawyer present that claim via web-based entertainment and send it to everybody with a trigger advance notice on it and afterward it becomes viral all by itself and individuals can peruse it for themselves. There's internet-based admittance to court records now so we can all proceed to look, particularly when they're governmentally documented. Assuming you have a Pacer account, you can simply proceed to look and see what's being charged in that claim. So that is the large contrast. There's simply presently not that boundary to passage to the traditional press that there used to be. Thus, he can't take cover behind his cash since everybody has equivalent admittance to exposure and keeping in. Mind that as of now, Diddy has not been charged criminally, nor has a prosecution been given, 
She says that could be in store for the troubled rapper and maker it could require many, many months it takes these kinds. Of cases particularly when you have a high-profile expected respondent or ECT can require months. Um, some of the time I've seen this sort of examination require a year, some of the time considerably more, so I wouldn't put any course of events on it. And in light of the fact that they have not returned an arraignment yet, they have absolutely no worries to fundamentally effectively explore the case for however long they're being dynamic and glancing through all that and haven't failed, assuming it takes them some time to arrive, it's best to be as cautious as possible, so I would expect them to require no less than a half year, perhaps. More to settle on a choice here. You realize certain individuals may be seeing this case and thinking, ah, here they are pursuing another fruitful. You realize person of color once more. Yet he's getting a ton of graces. That the typical criminal litigant wouldn't get the vast majority would have been arraigned at this point on these claims alone. They're trying to do an exhaustive examination, just somebody saying he did these things would be enough for them to carry it to a fantastic jury and obtain a prosecution. So they presumably have to the point of arraigning correcting now, yet they're ensuring that they're considering every contingency since he has the monetary capacity to battle a case like this without holding back. Thus, I simply believe individuals should truly understand that that here he's they're descending more earnestly on him than they would any other individual. That had these sorts of claims, most others would have been charged. As of now and again, all through every one of the claims against Diddy, he has stayed relentless that he's blameless after the strikes his lawyer gave Anne. Assertion perusing to a limited extent Mr. Combs was not confined and addressed specialists. Now, neither he nor any of his relatives were captured, nor has their movement been confined. Diddy's lawyer called the attacks a phenomenal trap that prompted an untimely surge of judgment, and that it's just a witch chase in view of meritless allegations made in common lawsuits. There's been no finding of criminal or common obligation, and Mr. Combs will battle each and every day to demonstrate his innocence, detailing for regulation and wrongdoing. Dime Elizabeth Milner, thank you so much for watching Gossip Now.